All right. I am joined by Carolyn Harrison, General Manager, Shandon Hotel and Spa, coming to us from Donegal, Ireland. How are you? I'm good, Jason. How are you? I'm well. T today we're going to talk about the Netflix series Dairy Girls. <laughs> That's where I'm from originally. Oh, <laughs> you're kidding girl. me. Oh, my God. Do you want me to say a few things? <laughs> season, season one, first two episodes are as funny, the funniest things I've ever seen. It's just, uh, that show's hilarious. That was exactly the way it was when I was at school in Derry. Exactly the way it was. So funny. <laughs> That's frightening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, we could talk about that, but you're, you're a hotelier <laughs> in yeah. Ireland. And so we wanted... You know, we wanted to see what was going on and, uh, you know, how have you been uh, throughout this? It's been tough. I mean, um, I don't think anybody was ready for the pandemic. Um, me personally, um, mom of two girls and always working and being used to that high octane kind of pressure and being needed all the time. Then to just complete lockdown and everything being closed and I suppose after the initial worry and shock that none of us was prepared for, no one had any experience of it, you have to try and think what can you gain from it. Um, like any challenge, you have to try and see what opportunities can come from it. And for me, as a general manager, it's a great experience. And I've had more time with my girls. I've learned how to cook properly. I've learned how to clean. <laughs> um, and I've just... It's been tough, but I'm trying to focus on the fact that I've had this time with my girls now, but I am so ready to get back into the buzz of running a busy hotel. And I just want that balance. I want the balance of, you know, working hard and deserving that glass of wine and Netflix at the weekend instead of that being all that you have to do all the time. Yeah, that'd be tough. So tell us about Shandon Hotel and Spa real quick. Yeah, so the Shandon is owned by Warren McCarthy and family and he took over it in 2016. The property previously went into receivership in 2011. It was a victim of the last recession that we had here. And when we took over, it was very seasonal and coming from a more of a city environment. I'm from Derry originally and I worked in city hotels in Letterkenny. Um, I couldn't fathom the idea of it being seasonal. So my strategy was to get it opened right through the winter so we could retain that talent that we had invested so heavily in. Um, we started off with 50 rooms in the first year and our occupancy was 85% right through, all from the domestic market. Um, so that then was testament to our success. We um, built an extra 18 rooms up the back of the property and on top, and we built a new restaurant. We built um, John Joe's Bar above the main bar. We have a beautiful luxury spa on site. Everywhere on the property, you have unrivaled views of the ocean and the bay. Um, you're right beside Marble Hill Beach, right on the Wild Atlantic Way in North Donegal. And you've got surfing, horse riding. You have Dunfanaghy Town with all the local pubs and lovely places to eat. It just really is just, it ticks all the boxes. So, so it's a leisure. Your travelers are leisure travelers. 100% yeah. leisure, yeah. And uh, I'm sorry, leisure. Um, <laughs> uh, so how, I mean, are you in the middle of a lockdown right now? We are, we have been in level five since Christmas time and coming up to March, we'll have been closed almost eight months of the last year. Um, the Republic of Ireland haven't announced any reopening dates yet, but the UK have, and obviously our proximity, we've got Northern Ireland, which is part of the UK. They're experiencing a big surge in bookings and we need the domestic market this year. So we're really being left in the dark with no clear date in sight. Um, we have 160,000 hospitality professionals out of work. They have no date of when they're going to return. Um, it's just, it's frustrating um, that the Republic of Ireland, it seems that the vaccination um, rollout is a lot slower um, than Northern Ireland and the UK and it's just very frustrating at the minute. We're kind of on tender hooks. Yeah, and you've served on uh, on the board of the Donegal Tourism Board, and uh, I think I think you said you were associate now. But like, what are the conversations yeah. that they're having right now? 
Yeah, so we're an associate member of the board of the, the organisation and we're very anxious. Um, most towns and villages in Donegal are solely based on tourism and hospitality and with no clear roadmap and in sight. It's just complete frustration and we're so unique here in Ireland because we have Northern Ireland and the Republic and our main business in Donegal comes from Northern Ireland. So with them having a clear date, all our guests from Northern Ireland will probably make plans in the north of Ireland instead of coming to Donegal. Um, so we're really, really worried about that and we just need those dates. So are you, what are you doing uh, in, in the hotel as far as sales and marketing and stay on top of mind until you get a chance to open? We have been working very hard on upskilling our marketing um, skills in terms of video editing, fresh content, all of that, and obviously staying in front of mind. But we've also, we've had every wall painted, every skirting board painted, and we have a massive project now where we're redesigning our main bar, which is the busiest part of the resort. Um, we're restructuring the layout of it so that nearly every seat is going to have a sea view when they're dining. And we're also refurbishing our lobby and we're hoping that we'll have all that done by the time we open. But it is difficult given the current restrictions that we have, but we're doing everything that we can. Um, and obviously just being there and engaging with our guests, being available and being totally flexible. We take maybe three or four phone calls a day from our wedding couples who've maybe rescheduled their weddings now for the fourth time. So we're kept busy. So is there a, um, I mean, so you're communicating like via email or Instagram or other social channels on the, the upgrades and here's what you got to look forward to. We're, we're very in touch with our target market um, and we're creating fresh content every day and we're really analyzing what's clicking with our, with our consumer. And in terms of just being there for them, our reservations team are there seven days a week. When they ring us, they'll get someone on the end of the phone. And what we're finding as well is a lot of our guests just want to ring us for the crack and the chat because they're so lonely. They've been <laughs> locked up for the last year. So we're enjoying that aspect of it as well. Yeah. Um, so nothing's open? Restaurant, bar? Nothing at all. It's oh, only, um, there's some hotels open for essential key workers um, in larger towns and cities, but there is nothing. The only thing that's open is um, shopping, you know, food shopping. Mm -hmm. So it's very boring. <laughs> well, so now I got to ask you, you got to give me a dairy story. Of a dairy story. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> it's it's Catholic funny. School, I, Catholic like, school girl. I am. Yeah. And you. And my my children always say that the dairy woman comes out on me when I'm in a bad mood with them. So what does that mean? <laughs> Roaring and shouting and going on like a total <laughs> dairy woman. <laughs> Cussing. <laughs> yeah, there's some of that too. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, that's tough. Uh, it's tough. And I, I know, um, you know, the U S is really starting to free up and we're pretty hopeful, um, especially for the summer. Yeah. And then hopefully, uh, Ireland and the rest of Europe, uh, will be following close behind. Uh, I know we're all ready to so, get yeah. moving, mm -hmm. but, uh, I, I mean, it, you, you seem like I, 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 you hear, you sound frustrated, but you seem like you're, Damned and determined. So, always positive. <laughs> There's always positives to come out of everything. And I know that in Donegal, we're going to have a great season. You know, we are the hotspot for staycations. So, and we have the domestic market. We're very grateful for that. So, fingers crossed, you know, it'll all go very well. I'm hopeful of that. Fingers crossed. Any advice for hoteliers as we continue through this? Just at the minute, it's just to keep positive. And even if you don't have a date, take the bookings and be flexible. So the business is there and you have their contact details and you can reschedule them. That's what we've been doing. Um, and just keep your chin up. You know, right. if we get through this, we can get through everything and everything's going to seem like a complete dawdle now that we're not dealing with a pandemic in a couple gonna, of months, hopefully. We're going to make it and then we're going to be real busy. <laughs> we yeah. Well, thank you for joining me, Caroline. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Jason. Have a good day. You too.